Hi everyone, this is Julie from Designs by Juju, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download your designs using the Google Chrome browser. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the upper right hand side of the website and log into your account with your email address that you use to purchase your designs and your password and the most recent order. You would just click on view order and then you will see your download files buttons. Um, in this order I purchased um, the, our new Valentine Heart Peekers applique and quilt blocks and the open vine satin monogram. Um, there are two different ways that you can download the files in the browser. One causes a lot of confusion, the other is easier. So I'm going to show you both. Um, in Google Chrome, if you simply click let, with the, the left button, like a simple left button click, the file is going to automatically download to your downloads folder. And I've gotten lots of emails in the past and people think, where on earth have my designs gone? Because um, with Chrome, they all go to the downloads folder and it drives me nuts, but that's how it does it. Um, there is a way to download it directly to the folder you want it to, and I'll show you that in a minute. So if you left click, um, then uh, you see a little arrow down here, and then it um, is downloading the file directly to that folder. Um, you can see that's a big file and it downloaded in like three seconds. So um, if I click on um, go to my documents and you look over here on the left under favorites, there's your downloads folder. Easy peasy and you can click on it. And then the file that I just downloaded is 720. So there it is. So you could right click on it and copy it and move it to your embroidery designs folder. Um, but that's kind of an extra step that really isn't necessary. Um, but that is where your downloads folder is. So again, if you go to, I'll close this up just to show you again. If you go down in the corner here, I'm in Windows 7, um, and you go to Documents, and you look over on the left, under Favorites, there's Downloads. Um, I'm not sure what it looks like in Windows 8, but it can't be too di too different once you get to your um, documents folder and that's where the files went now let's do the easier way um, I always recommend you can see my embroidery designs I recommend everyone have a master designs folder where they keep all their designs um, that way at least if you put them in there even if it's a mess inside there you at least know they're in there um, and then you can create different folders based on your categories or uh, which company you purchase from. I made a folder for DBJJ for us, um, just to give you an idea. So let's close that for a minute and pretend that you're going to download this file here um, and you want to tell it where to go. You don't want it to go to your downloads folder. Now you're going to right click on the button and you're going to choose save link as. And if you click save link as, then you can see in my documents you can browse to your folder my documents uh, click on my embroidery designs and then i want to put it in the dbjj folder and just click save and then it will download it and put it right in that folder so if we were to open documents and go to my embroidery designs there it is and to extract it or unzip it it's very easy you don't need a special program or special software or anything of the sort. You simply right click on the file, it's going to put your mouse on it, right click on it, choose extract all from your drop down menu, and then um, you are going to click extract. And it's just going to unzip it and then it will, um, you'll have your folder over here in there you'll see it zipped and then as soon as it's completely unzipped you'll see the folder above it unzipped you do not need to save the zipped up folder um, because you can always go back to the website forever and download your files again if you have to so if you're confused by having a zipped and an unzipped folder then um, you know you can delete it um, 
once the files, the, it's, it's not unzipped yet, totally here. But I'll go into this one to show you. Once the file is unzipped, you see that you have all the different um, formats in there. Oh, this popped up. Okay, here we go. There are all the different formats are in there for you and your color charts and your terms of use, etc. If you really wanted to um, delete everything, all you have to do is simply say you want to only have PES. Hold your control key, highlight everything else. I wouldn't recommend with fonts. Do not get rid of your BX if you're using Brilliance. Um, so highlight all the other um, formats and click delete. Click yes. And boom, now you only have your PES. It really takes one second to do, and it's very easy. Um, we made the decision when we did the new website to include all of your formats for you because so many people have more than one machine or were writing to request um, different formats when they change their machine that as a convenience we wanted to include all of the files. So that is how you um, download in Google Chrome browser. And just as an afterthought here, um, if something doesn't look the same as what you've just seen in this video, it's possible that your browser is out of date. And if you, the way to know that, it's very easy. You go to whatismybrowser.com and then it will tell you at the top here. I often send people to this website if they are having any trouble because 99.9% .9 of the time, if there's any type of trouble viewing the site or out doing something on it, it's because the web browser is out of date. Um, our website is very new with um, um, a lot of interactive features and the ability um, to do all sorts of things and in order to do that to have it work for you it really needs to work with the updated web browsers it does not work with old web browsers which is why it does not work with Internet Explorer 8 or 9 and really like Internet Explorer 8 is obsolete Internet Explorer 9 that some people are using is is old back as 2011 so you go to this website whatismybrowser.com if it's up to date it'll tell you so and if it's not it'll be a red message here that says it's outdated and that you just need to um, update it and then you're good to go hopefully this was helpful and in the next video I'm just going to show you with um, Internet Explorer okay have a great night